the logo on there and everything. It's delicious. I made some wood boxes. Mm, 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 with my laser. Mm, mm, mm. I know I'm ridiculous. I'm sorry. I can't let go. Hey, this is Lorena. We're doing a video on how to make a wood box. Yeah, a wooden box. The materials you're gonna need is some wood. I ended up finding some wood at an estate sale for like $10, and it was this beautiful cedar wood. Let me show you what it looked like. It's lovely. Now, you don't have to have cedar wood to make the box, but let me just say, cedar just, oh my God, it is beautiful. It is a beautiful wood. Um, I ended up getting this planking, at an estate sale it's about a quarter inch thick and uh, this i just mm -hmm, delicious delicious now the other thing that you're going to need it's magnets you're going to need about eight of them four for the base and four for the lid so this is a the size of your magnet and this is a really big magnet so you can see the size that i'm talking about Magnets, little baby magnets. You're also gonna need some plexiglass. Now, it depends on the box that you wanna make. If you wanna make a box that just has a wood lid, that will be fine. All you need is magnets and wood, and of course a laser. Or, if you wanted to make a different box like this one that has plexiglass on it. Um, now, you can make this box any size that you want. And I'll just share with you kind of like my thought process of how I came up with it and how I designed it on the program. So in designing this, you're going to need a base for the bottom and you're also going to need to build the walls. And you can make this however deep you want the box to be. You can make it where you only have two walls like I have here that build it up. Or you could build it up quite a bit so it has a little bit more depth. Now, it's up to you the more depth you want the more walls you build so I ended up building three walls the base and then three walls and I also built the top base the top base is different because the top base has magnets all around it and that's what gets the box to snap in on itself all right so designing this project you're gonna need to make a square that is whatever size you want but I ended up having to make a square to fit this space this is about four inches wide, it's pretty long, so I ended up cutting my base three and a half inch square. I kind of made sure it fit here. I gave myself a quarter inch seam on each end, and that was my cut. Now you're also going to start building walls, so I ended up cutting myself a three and a half inch square, and then I, inside the square to build the wall itself, I cut myself 2.8 by 2.8 square on the inside. I made sure that I centered it. And what's gonna happen, it's gonna cut the square and then cut another square and it's gonna leave you a piece that's gonna be cut out. And that's how you build your walls. This is the bottom base. This is going to be the middle base. And you need like two cuts of these and then you're gonna need one with the magnet. So you're gonna go ahead and cut yourself the top base of your box. Now what's different about this one, it's the same as the walls of the box, so go ahead and copy that and make yourself another piece, another copy, a duplicate, but you're gonna put little circles on all the corners. One of the reasons why I went in and made the square smaller is so I had room to put the circles, to put the magnets. I've been making a couple of these and there's a couple of fails. One, I had the magnet too close to one of the edges to where when I put the magnet in, the wood broke off or the plexiglass broke off or cracked. And so you kind of want a sweet spot and you want it nice and centered. You're gonna need four circles around your base. There's a way on the program where it has a line and it shows you where the line is centered so that you know how to center each circle to itself. Now we're gonna make the lid. The only difference about the lid that has to be exactly the same as your top base. And so I recommend that you copy the outer border, you copy where the circles are, you group it together, you grab it and you move it over and duplicate it. And now you have your lid that's exactly in the same placement as your base and your lid. So they snap together.
my wood measurement for my magnet was one point wait 0.185 what I found is when the laser cut the circles for the magnets that it cut a bigger cut so I need to shrink down the circle now for the plexiglass my measurement for my circles for my magnets to fit was 0.189 now my magnet size when I measured it on the caliber it came out to 0.19 the size is different from the wood to your plexiglass. Keep that in mind. It seems like the wood cuts a bigger cut. That's why I shrunk the circle down and plastic doesn't burn and make a big cut like wood does. Just a thought. The way you find a file is if you hit shift and menu together. And then here's all my files. So here's box one. So I'm gonna enter it. And here's the file. And I'm going to put origin. And then I'm going to hit frame. To autofocus, you hit shift, up arrow. And you hit it together. So then I'm going to say origin. that we're gonna use and we need to focus now in making these boxes I did use both lasers I made a box from the Myra, my orphan baby, and I made one from Big Mama, where you guys are standing. Uh, the settings for the cuts. For the Nova 14, I ended up finding that 20 by 90 for a cut is beautiful. You want enough power that it opens, makes the hole. See, it's not even going through. So right now, this is 20. This is 15, and I'm gonna do 10, and it cut at 10, 10 and 12. She kinda moves at 12, but, so, 10 it is. Now you're gonna put your box together, and what you're gonna do is you're going to put the base and then your walls and you're gonna start putting glue on the bottom. I recommend you don't go so sparingly, but don't overdo it to where the glue is seeping out everywhere, which it will. I didn't have these little sweet little clampy things. I think they would help tremendously. I also think that the clamps will put pressure around the box so that it is being glued 
equally. All right, so yeah, I recommend these. My favorite is craft glue. It glues faster. I like it a lot more, but I don't know if maybe wood glue is better for the longevity of the box. I don't know. I recommend that when you're gluing your box down that you clean up while you go and maybe less is better than more because then you have a glue mess. I just noticed that wood glue takes longer to set. Here's the box and all its layers. And I'm gonna align it. And while I have it aligned, I wish I had a clamp. I know I have some clamps. I'm going to wipe her down. These little things to get in the corners and clean it up. And then make sure the box is lined up. When you're making this box, make sure that you do clean the glue while it's being glued together because glue is hard to um, sometimes sand out. Also, glue is hard to polish. It won't let you put stain on wood if it has glue. So keep that in mind. When you end up putting the magnets, be mindful that the magnets are all in the same direction so that it clamps. And then when you put the lid, make sure they attract each other and not repel each other. And I do it on the underside. So there's one, uh, two, Now on this wood one, I ended up, the cuts that it did on the wood, I ended up gluing them inside. I'm debating if I want to sand them down or leave them there. And the reason is, is because I wanted the magnet not to sink in. Now if you have this cut perfectly, it'll just pop in and it will not move. If you don't have the circle cut perfectly, it will fall in and fall out. And so I recommend you use glue. On my plexiglass, I ended up not using glue on these. On this one, I didn't use glue because I had the circle cut perfectly. On this one, I did use glue because it was kind of sliding out. Now, be, be cautious about your glue. Don't uh, use too much because on the plexiglass, uh, it's hard to get off. Just a thought. She's pretty, huh? <laughs>